uh, one of the more frustrating parts about it, and this is very minute, and it's more like a streamer fucking problem. Why the fuck is your rank not displayed in the fucking game? When yeah. I load into a lobby, I want to see my entire team, and I can <clears> point out the shitter on my team. Yeah, I can understand why you'd be, um, why you'd be against that, and like, oh, you know, ranked anxiety. You don't want people getting picked on for their fucking SR or whatever. We got private profiles for that. That's fine. Maybe there are people out there that didn't like the numbers going up and down because it caused anxiety. Oh shit, I've lost like five games. Oh fuck. Um, oh, I want to stop playing because I dropped from masters to diamond or like you know silver to bronze or whatever. That's just ranked. Like, you can't be handheld with this 7-win, 20-fucking-loss system forever. If you want to just not have the stress of that, go play Quick Play. Go play another different mode. I also think, like, I would love to hear from someone who is, like, a gold player. Like, because, like, I, I have no perspective sure. of, like, uh, maybe gold players are having more fun. Well, it depends. Hi, my name is Pixel Love. I am a recurring listener to Plat Chat. I've been playing Overwatch since early 2021, and I have been called to give my opinion as a bronze, silver, and gold player. Actually, not really, but I wanted to make this anyways. As you can see from my career profile here, I am a quick play Andy, but I recently started to play a lot more competitive and ranked. While this isn't the first time I've played competitive as I did play comp back in Overwatch 1, I have been significantly playing more comp in Overwatch 2, especially since the release of Ramatra, as I've managed to nearly one trick him into gold. From the transition from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2, I have definitely felt a lot more comfortable playing rank. Part of it has to do with the overall changes to tank, as I am a tank player at heart, such as the removal of one tank thus eliminating the potential of another tank being, well, the shitter. <laughs> so it's all on me, baby. But I think one of the biggest changes that also helped me play ranked and be more relaxed is the controversial SR system, or how it shows SR. You see, back in Overwatch 1, the anxiety of SR was brutal for me. I originally queued with some of my European friends and we would be on EU servers. And while some of them placed low gold and high silver, I would always place low silver despite some of them claiming that I was indeed carrying the game. So I tried a solo queue to see how that would work here in the America servers and well, I ended up doing worse and I ended up getting bronze. So <laughs> when we ended up queuing again in the later half of Overwatch 1, uh, we, weren't, we weren't having a fun time at all. Uh, not only was tank not fun, but the anxiety of me constantly going from bronze to silver and then from silver to bronze, it just was not enjoyable for me. I wanted to be gold, but I just did not want to go through the hell of ranked, having to go through five wins and then five losses again, all in a row as well. So I just, I just did not want to deal with that at all. Now, with the release of Overwatch 2, I ended up queuing to comp with another friend, and fortunately we were in America servers this time, so I did have better ping. And while initially I was still low in Silver 4, this current season I was finally able to reach gold, and it felt fucking worth it. Yes, it is boring having to go through 7 games just to see your rank go up, but after every loss, I say, next game is a dub. And one of the reasons why I can think this is because I don't see a number shoved in my face as a haha, fuck you, loser, anymore. Instead, I see, okay, I need three more dubs, and then I rank up. I understand that's not how it works, as you can't get demoted even after the seven wins and whatnot, but that's how I personally see it. And when you're like me, you forget the losses because you always see the dubs. I'm not done just yet. As you can see, my support is still bronze and so I want to bring that up to gold or at the very least high silver by the end of the season. And by next season, you know, I want to keep both gold on support and on tank. Definitely on tank. And maybe, who knows, maybe I can get gold on damage. It's my weakest role by far, but hey, if I can make it on gold on these two roles, I should be able to make gold on the other, right? 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 But of course, all of this wouldn't be possible if I just didn't have this anxiety 
of this number, this SR number that keeps popping up every time I'm done with a game, you know? It, it's just very saddening to see that number go down. And I know Jaw says, you know, it, it's ranked. It's what you should expect. Yes, it is what you should expect, but that doesn't mean that it's... It, that doesn't mean it's pleasant, you know? I expect the three needles that goes into my body from my doctor's appointments today, but that doesn't mean that it was a pleasant experience, nor does it mean that it's something I want to do again. Hence why I feel much more comfortable playing competitive in Overwatch 2 than I did in Overwatch 1. Also, just as a quick little side note, when you've been playing quick play as long as I have, you eventually start to notice that the quick play matchmaking is, isn't the greatest. And that's for obvious reasons, you know, people just want to get into a quick match, just to get it over with, just to have fun and whatnot. But sometimes these matches can be very heavily one-sided and a lot of the times it just doesn't end up being the fun quick play match that I thought it would be. Especially with how many hours I put it into this. And so eventually you start coming to this realization of, wait a minute. Competitive actually has a better matchmaking system for me as a bronze, silver, and gold player than Quick Play does. I actually feel like I'm having fun in comp than I do in Quick Play a lot of the times nowadays. With the exception of Overwatch 1, that was just awful, that was just hell. I do not want to go back to that again. But it's just something that I thought I would bring up again from my experience. The thing like, is, though, the, the thing is, though, even if they're listening to this podcast, they're probably yeah, not they're the person you want to hear yeah. from. So as That's... much as we can have gold players talk in the YouTube chat and like give us answers, they're still like listening to fucking plat chat. All right. Like we, yeah. we, yeah, right. we, we need to we, we want to hear from people who play on console or play on Nintendo Switch yeah. who who, you know, they I don't know that like that aren't involved with the competitive scene. Now, I understand what Reinforce is trying to say here. Because I'm an avid listener of Plat Chat, I am obviously invested in the competitive scene. However, what I would like to tell you is that one, as you did see from my hours, I am a quick play Andy. I'm not really much of a comp person. Granted, I like I said before, I'm recently starting to pick up comp. But to give you another idea of just how uncompetitive I've really been playing this entire game, let me show you how many competitive points that I have. This is how much competitive points that I have in the entire time that I played Overwatch. The entire time that I played the quick play, comp and whatnot. I haven't even gotten one golden weapon. I I'm very much a non-competitive person. So I, I don't want people to say my opinion doesn't really count. And I know that's not what Reinforce is trying to say here. But I'm just giving you the idea of, yeah, I'm not much of a competitive person. Here's the solution. You, you just, just make it, make just make it, an, just make it an option, or whoever's second in charge, and make it an option that you can just opt into. I want to opt into being able to see my SI, my rank, whatever, and you don't have to like wait for that BS. Everyone else, so the people that have ranked anxiety, they can just play ranked as normal. The people actually care about the feedback, the instant feedback every game. They should be allowed to opt into that as an option. And I agree with Avril. There should be an option to opt in, whether or not you want to see your sr or whatnot however there was one problem that i had with that and i think custa said it best but i you know what i bet the answer would be is i think people would get anxious about having that setting exist like i genuinely think there oh, would be on. people who, and i oh. genuinely think there would be people who would be like well i want to see it but i don't want to see it and that kind of stuff oh my god and, and i genuinely but like at the end of the day i completely fucking you can't agree cater with you. those people yeah that's kind of me I will, I will have the anxiety of being like, ooh, I want to see my SR go up, you know, after all these dubs that I've been getting. But at the same time, I don't want to revisit that experience that I had with Overwatch 1. Again, dare I give the needle example. Uh, I don't want to go through that hell again, especially after a few days ago, you know, I was on a really bad losing streak. So... Just to see all my progress get undone like that, just no. And I understand, do not cater to me. I am like the last person anyone should really cater to. But 
yes, like Custa said, there are people like me who will have the anxiety of, do I want to see how much progress I've made, or do I want to see how much progress I've just fucking lost? Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. As much as I really want to be more competitive in Overwatch, the fact that what I've been showing you are all screenshots and I still only had like 26 FPS on my career profile should just give you an example of what I'm dealing with. The fact that I've already managed to make it to gold and I still want to climb up at least to plat. It will be a miracle if I make it there, but a man can dream. Also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.